Here. We. Go! Okay. I'll explain what's happened and ask him for help. Evening, sir. We were notified of some loud noises coming from inside this room. Would you mind if I looked around? Ah, uh, he didn't say you could come in. I guess you're the police, and they're in, like, Japan, so they do what the fuck they want. Uh, there's something you need to know, buddy. <laughs> Actually, we're unaware of Mikado Kariki's. If you see anyone resembling this man, please contact the authorities immediately. Uh-oh. That's no good. Oh! Don't move! It's you! You're Mikado Kariaki! Wait a second, please! I don't remember anything! Just woke up here! No sudden movements! You're under arrest! No, this is some mistake! I'm not a killer! You can explain yourself later! No, listen! It's better if you don't resist. Okay, that. what kind of shit was that? Hey, he's the worst police officer ever. What did you think was going to be there, dude? It's supposed to be what? Wait. You're not getting away. Am I supposed to do something? <laughs> don't move. It's not giving me any options, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something or what. Uh-oh. Well. Uh-oh. How could this? Oh yeah, I think that's the thing about the game too. You have died. It like restarts. Obtained death metal. Shot by police. You have to restart a good bit is my understanding. But like when you restart, I guess you like remember or something. Well, here you go. Now you guys get to see the beginning of the game. Ladybug, those are CG. Oh yeah, I can like rewind it too, apparently. Are you awake, sir? If you got any problems, feel free to visit us at the front desk. We'll be happy to be of assistance. That's a random ass call to get. Okay, this is different, because I guess he remembers what happened. It's like Groundhog Day. Good evening, or good afternoon. After evening, I just came up with that. My news team isn't happy. The same as before. What's happening? It's almost like I went backwards in time. Like time is rewinding. Yeah, body's still there, buddy. I mean, she's tied up. Is she dead? You never really checked. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> Wake up! I mean, you didn't. You put your hand on her shoulder. Who is this girl? Why is she tied up? She might have like a fetish thing, dude. You guys may have. What if we're in the same room? She must know who I am. Not if you kidnapped her. <laughs> he doesn't have to know who you are. I didn't do that, did I? Dun dun dun. Yeah, this is this is where the cop. You have to decide. Before the only option I had was to open the door. It's the same as before. Yeah, you are just figuring that out. It's Groundhog Day. Time is rewinding.
Yeah, see, I can let the cop in. Oh, now I can do something else. I can hide. I guess we'll try hiding in the closet this time. Run and hide! I think if I answer the door, he's going to shoot my ass. Oh, I wonder if I, if I answer the door this time, I know what's going to happen. So maybe he won't be able to shoot me as easily. I mean, damn, that's... You're going to come in, guns guns drawn? Just because you heard some loud noises? That seems a bit excessive. This cop's really on edge, and I don't understand why. There's some loud noises. Whoa, what's this? I'm gonna go with no. I mean, should you let him take that girl? He's a police officer. Keep hiding. Attack officer. Those are my only options. To keep hiding and attack the officer. I don't... Fuck it, we're going all aggro. This is a bad idea, man. Ah! Hey, bitch! <laughs> Damn! I mean, did he think that the police were gonna, like, do something, some harm to her? Card key for another room. This is bad, I need to keep moving. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Why is he taking this woman with him? I mean, he had her tied up. That would not be my priority, is to take my potential victim with me down the hall. And what the fuck, is she drugged or something? Because her ass is knocked the fuck out. What exactly is happening here? I don't know, man. We're wondering that too. Why can't I remember anything? Am I really a serial killer? And why is time rewinding itself? It's not really I can do it. Do you know what's going on? If you do, you have to tell me. Who are you talking to? <laughs> like, is he breaking the fourth wall? Oh shit, she's a cop. Police inspector. Special investigations unit. I'm the guy who tied you up and kidnapped you. <laughs> That's my name, isn't it? That's my name! Don't wear it out! I'm really the serial killer Mikado Kariaki? What? It's amnesia. I'm an amnesiac. No, but I am. What's this supposed to be? Your crimes have sudden and impulsive. That was really quick. I couldn't read that. So why did you kill me right away? Why didn't you? You've never kept anyone captive before. I don't understand. It is because I'm an investigator? I don't know. Why don't you know? What don't you know? He already explained he has amnesia. Anyway, what are you doing in this hotel? Investigating you, probably. 
Isn't it obvious? I'm here to apprehend you. So you got a hotel room? You're currently wanted. And I heard you were hiding in this hotel. If you saw him right there, and you're an officer, why not just arrest him? Just another guest I was pretending. But it's almost like you knew I was coming. No, chloroform doesn't work like that. <laughs> like I knew. How? That's what I'm asking. How did you know I was undercover? I don't know. Just like I knew he was going to say, I don't know. You don't know! What are you talking about? He's amnesiac. He's already said. When I came to, I was lying in this hotel room. I didn't know I was wanted until I saw the news. I'm telling you, I have no idea what I did to you. Are you serious? You laid that pipe. Hey, I'm really Makoto Kariaki. Am I really Makoto? A serial killer? I've killed people? There's no doubt that you Makoto Kariaki, a wanted serial killer. I feel like there's more to this. You really don't remember. So what do they do in a situation like that if somebody legit has, like, for real, like, movie amnesia, and they cannot remember the crimes they did, they're not that same person anymore? Fine, I'll believe you. You believe me? But would that make them harmless now? So could you help me out of these ropes? Yeah, I feel like she's going to put your ass in cuffs, dude. I believe what you're saying. I can help you, because it sounds totally plausible. But you need to untie me first. Please? Yeah, she gonna whack your ass over the head or something. She gonna knock your ass the fuck out and arrest you. Which one? Which one? I don't know. I don't know if there's a time limit either, honestly. I guess I'll show some good faith, but she's gonna arrest my ass, I bet. Okay, let me be. I've already knocked out another cop, so I might as well be a complete dumbass and untie your ass. She's gonna, like, knock the shit out of him. Watch. Told ya! I don't think you, you'd actually untie me. I trusted you! Can it! I'm a super cop. It doesn't matter what you think. I'm only here to catch you. I'm a career woman. With a Windows phone. <laughs> I like Windows phones, by the way. I've apprehended Mokado Karyaki. It's exactly as you said. Me? I'm fine, of course. What? Okay, I'll be here. Wait. Backups on the way. Now he's got to convince her. Don't you try to resist. I mean, he's tied up. I thought you'd believe me. This is probably the most movie, full motion video, interactive movie game I've ever played. <laughs> you don't really make a lot of decisions. I'm cool with it, though. Sakamura, I'm here. Senpai! Senpai! Sorry to keep you waiting. Is Makoto Kariaki inside? Are you by yourself? Sadly, our unit's a little understaffed at the moment. Oh, something's going on. Uh -uh, this ain't right. Something's going on. Am I not enough? No, you're fine. <laughs> oh, it's true! You are Makoto Kariaki. Look at that tie and that shirt. Holy crap, this guy. My name's Nazomu Kuji. Nice to meet you. A small problem, actually. Where's your phone? Your cell phone. You have one, don't you? It's Japan. Everyone does. You're not from the Stone Age. Where is it? Kuji? 
It's important evidence. Something's up with that guy. We'll need it to prove Karyak is guilty. That's why I'm grabbing it right away. Not suspicious at all. Where is it? Here? I don't think I have it on me. So it's in your room then. Sakamura! What? It's like I just said. His cell phone is important evidence. I'm going to go collect it. Guess I'll ask for his... Room, key. room number at the front desk. That's the kind of grunt work I'm used to. Why not just ask her? What the hell? Hey, wait a minute. He's acting strange. Strange like how? He's saying he's got amnesia. Karyoko Makorati, I mean. I'm fucking up his name every time. <laughs> Mentally unfit to stand trial. That's the defense he's going for? It doesn't matter what that killer says. I'll be back. She looks really concerned. A minute ago, she did not. She was just like, fuck off, I caught you. What's with that guy? He's a little odd, isn't he? But he's still our star investigator. He's very good at his work. He kept saying myself it was evidence. Why was that? Who knows? I haven't heard anything. Can you show me that cell phone too? It might give me some kind of clue about my memories, for instance. Or if I'm really Makado Karyaki. We'll check your phone carefully. Whether you see it or not is another story. I don't know why I'm doing a man's voice for her. I'm not really doing voices, just reading, honestly. I'm not getting the impression that you're lying. But even so, what made you lose your memories in the first place? Am I with it? Too fast! There's something different about you. Maybe you're involved in something awful! Awful? It's just a feeling I have. It's like it's something worse than anything I could imagine. But I must be overthinking it. Huh. The fuck? Holy crap, it's the guy from fucking My Bloody Valentine. Either that or Cabal. Seriously, what's with this guy? It's Cabal from Mortal Kombat 3. Oh, she's dead. Flashback? What's up, girl? Was that her? It was really quick. I can quick. I can tell. Wait a sec. I've met that girl before. But she's never said anything like this. Why? Oh shit! What's with you? Why would you tell me that? Okay, so untying her is a bad idea. You have died. Contain you. Yes, like that. Continue. Continue. Continue your winter. Let's do it again. I guess this time we're not going to untire. Or we could stay hidden. Let's go forward 10 seconds. Are you awake, sir? If you've got any problems, feel free to visit the front desk. Oh, he hung up quicker that time. That is kind of neat how every time he gets up, it's different. I wonder if it'll be different. I'm back here again. <clears throat> I guess time rewinds when I die. Novel idea. Never heard of it before. Why does it work like that? And who was that guy anyway? It's like a fucking steampunk ninja or some shit. 
わけのわからないことだけだけど。まず、今やらなくちゃいけないのは。あの、くじってやつが。くじってやつが。くじってやつが。くじってやつが。くじってやつが。くじってやつそれを見れば、If I can find it, maybe I'll learn something. Oh, I bet they're about to start knocking on the door, and I'll need to stay hidden so I can search for the phone. Yeah, we'll stay hidden this time. Right here it is. No coverage. Who's this from? Be there at 8 p.m. Don't. What does it mean? This girl! I didn't read that second part. Some of the subtitles are like really slow, and then some of them are super fast. I've met her before. But she acted like she didn't even know me. Well, she probably didn't then. Or, oh, he's talking about now. Well, maybe she just looked like her. Why was that? Maybe you're in a simulation or something. There's a cop again. I'm gonna stay in the room this time and see what happens. Unless I have another. Oh, I have another office. Oh, no, this is different. Let the officer in. What? Hide in the closet again. Okay, so I got the same. I wonder if I let the cop in if I can fight him off now. I kind of don't want to try that. I kind of want to try it, but I don't want to have to go through all this again. I'm going to do it and I'm going to, because I can fast forward. I'm going to let him in and see if anything plays out differently. Since he's already been through this, maybe I can, like, uh, fight the cop because I know when he's going to try and shoot me and all. Damn! Uh oh. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to let the guy. Who is he? Did I die? Oh shit! Did he throw me? Oh no! How'd she get in there? The fuck? What was that memory? Who are you to me? Who are you to me? Why won't you tell me? Have you also forgotten? I think she's dead. Oh, we're both dead. How did she get out there? Oh, I died. But hey, I learned something else, didn't I? Right. Tain death metal neck snapped. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got all kinds of death metals. Death metal. Hey, there's more bugs. Are there more bugs every time? Are you awake, sir? If you've got any problems, shut the fuck up. I wonder how many times they filmed all these different... That, that That's cool that it's not like just the same exact thing every time. Somebody was going to meet us at 8 p.m. Yeah, yeah, she's still there. I mean, I feel as if you could work a little harder to wake her up. Like, shake the shit out of her. Yeah, give it a little slip. We have to run. I'll keep it. He'll keep, it'll keep attacking me. That girl, I'll s never stop trying to kill us. It'll never stop trying to kill us. I need to get away from it. What's going on now? Oh, let's see some crazy ass uh, Japanese game shows. What is this?
this supposed to be to stop us from escaping? Who's doing this? And why? Is it Smokey? Oh yeah, it is. Why are you after us? Could it be the actual serial killer? Yeah, that's that's first thing. That looks like some kind of supernatural. Hey, wake up, please! I'm sure she could help you. She's done really good with this whole thing so far. You gotta get out of here. I'll explain later. I have questions for you. Oh, you got a chainsaw now. <laughs> you need to come with me. The serial killer is still better than the monster, right? Come on! Man, this dude's just got like a whole repertoire of like weapons. He's like something out of fucking Silent Hill or something. Why are you going up? Go down. It's gonna come through. He could just hit the button and it would reopen the door. Movies don't seem to know how elevators work. <laughs> and I feel like this creature can manifest itself in different places, so... He's got some supernatural powers going on or something. Oh, no, but what the hell? Damn it! It's no use. What's going on with this hotel? Oh, that's pretty neat. At this rate, it'll catch up with us. Let's find somewhere to hide! Somewhere to hide? Yes, somewhere to hide. If you've got any problems, feel free to visit us at the front desk. That's right. This way. Follow me. Wait. Oh, this guy's... Okay, something's going on here. It's something the matter, sir. Can I ask you a question? If it's anything to do with this hotel, by all means. Chainsaw-wielding psychopath. Anything? Ask about hiding place. Because that wouldn't seem odd at all. Is that my only option? Okay, I'm you know options. That's what I really appreciate about appreciate about this game is all the options it allows me. If that's the only option I have, why even give me a choice? Is there anywhere we can hide? We're in a hurry, please. This door will take you underground. You ought to be safe in the warehouse at the end of the passage. That's not odd at all. You know, you gotta love these Japanese movies. Would you call the police too? There's someone wielding a weapon. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that. What? I'm only a navigator. Navigator! <laughs> Let's hurry and go before that thing catches up with us. They're in a computer simulation. Or something like that. It's some kind of like Matrix esque simulation world. I bet. Something like that. This is it. Because why not? It's hot in here. Let's take our clothes off. I like where this game's going. Uh. Looks like we managed to get away. For now. What was that creature? And why do I have to hide away with you, Mikado Karaki? I mean, you can go back to that motherfucker if you want to see how things work out. I've lost my memory. I can't recall anything. When I woke up, I was in the room and you were in the bathroom. That creature's chasing both of us. But I have no idea why. It might have something to do with my amnesia. But I really don't know. Please, you have to believe me. I'm not trying to get away, but this isn't normal. There's definitely something going on here. No shit. Something? I need some more time to find out what. 
With your help, of course. Help? You're a wanted serial killer. How am I supposed to believe you? This is like some harvester shit, man. Talk about memories. Don't talk about memories. Uh, let's talk about memories. All right. Do you have a lover? Do you want one? What? So in Japanese, huh? Means what? Why would that matter? It does matter. Okay, I do, so... Would you think... Carefully about that lover? Why? Does he look like me? Take a look. A long, deep look. Not at all! Not even slightly. He's my colleague. And he's nothing like a serial killer. So he's a cop too. Hmm. Wait, how do you know? I never told you about my work. Uh, well, who did you hear about? Did you ambush me because you knew? No, it's nothing to do with that. I don't even remember ambushing you. There's something I recalled earlier. <coughs> I was just trying to see for myself. But I guess I was wrong. Ugh. My colleague. She must mean that Kuji guy. Then what was all that memory before? It can't be real. I guess that I'm the crazy one then. So what exactly am I supposed to believe? Wait. What did you recall? It doesn't matter. Just arrest me. Huh? What about what you said earlier? That something was happening and you wanted to find out more. It shouldn't matter to you. I'm a wanted serial killer. Makoto Karaki and now I'm depressed. Memories or no memories, you'll still arrest me. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? Ugh, it doesn't feel right. Of course I'll arrest you. That's why I'm at this hotel. But I don't think you're lying about your amnesia. I'm so conflicted. Why else would Makoto Karaki save me? <sighs> and anyway, that creature wasn't normal. Your mysterious amnesia isn't normal. I do think something's going on here. Great investigator. Something out of the ordinary. That's some great investigor investi investigation skills. I won't be satisfied unless I find out what. So you really believe me this time? Cool. This time? Uh, yeah. You died a few times. You're right about it being hot in here. Let's get naked. Perhaps if we have sex, I'll remember. So what's the plan now? Mm. Do you have any ideas? Oh yeah, I do. Ideas. Mm. I got some ideas. Keep hiding. Show cell phone. Ooh, I'm going to show the cell phone. Before I do, though, oh, I guess I have to. Hey, would you look at this? Oh, I didn't do my voice. 
Be the ready. Don't. What is this? This girl. I think it's about you. You mean someone's trying to kill me? What does that have to do with the creature? I don't know. Let's find out then. Find out what? Why they're after me? This message says they'll arrive at 8pm. I see. So whoever sent this message should come to my room at 8. You need to ask that person why I'm the target. Okay. It's decided then. Let's hide here a little longer. Then move to your room 15 minutes before 8. Got it. Uh, means got it. There must be a reason why she's being targeted. Does it have something to do with my amnesia? Or the reason why time rewinds? Maybe she's the key to all of this. Hmm. This game shot well. This movie, I guess. Oh, what time did it say it was? <laughs> Should we go soon? Sure, let's do it. So is this chainsaw wielding monster going to come out again? I really wanted to get a hold of... Let's try and stay out of sight. I kind of, I know we're going to die again, I'm sure. What was your room number? Oh, fuck, I don't know. 501, I think it was? I'm pretty sure it's 501. I think it's 501. Wasn't it 501? It's 501. Let's hurry. I really want that guy to catch up to us with the chainsaw and see what happens. Like, how graphic is this game willing to get? It's alright. Let's keep heading towards room 501. What's on your fucking key card right there, dude? You knew you were in 501. This is a really fucking nice hotel, by the way, too. I mean, damn. We're here. We better steal ourselves. Damn it! I should have brought my gun. Your gun? I had it hidden in my bag. I could carry it around as a hotel guest. Why not? We should have gone to my room to get it. Oh, uh, we're gonna die and we're gonna have to go to our room first. That was fast. Come this way. You should hide in here. Huh? I'm supposed to have caught you, right? You can't be walking around. That makes sense. Try to agree with whatever they say. We want to learn as much as we can. I'll do my best. It's not like I have a choice. This is going to be the monster again. Oh shit, it's this fucker. Oh no, it's not. Don't move. Get up slowly, hands in the air. I don't even know what this person looks like. I'm just going with this voice though. Look over here. <gasps> it's you. Are you keeping Detective Sakamura captive? Where is she? Speak up. This is my Kano voice. Fucking beauty. Share? Don't share. Share? Don't share. I don't know what we're sharing. I don't know what we're not sharing. Uh... 
I'm gonna go don't share because I think there's something shady about this guy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What are you freaking out for? Did you really think I'd shoot you? Oh no, of course, of course not. So this guy is here to rescue Akane Sakamura. Is he who sent that message? Let's get on to it then. Time to do what you promised. What I promised, hmm? Right. Of course, I'll do what I promised. But... But what? What's the reason for all of this? Can't you tell me that much? We're partners after all. Alright then. Fine. I don't want you backing out of our deal. I knew it. This guy's working with me. The serial killer. And he's after Arcane Sakamura. So here's the reason. I wanted to have a change of heart. A change of heart? The rest won't make much more sense to you. Where is she? In the bath. Just do as you've promised. Then I'll keep my end of the bargain. I've already prepared your fake ID. Fine. The girl. She's drugged and asleep in the closet. I didn't want the police to find her. <clears throat> Is she still sleeping? Oh, definitely. Like a rock. Oh, I said like that. Bring her here. Sure. I have no clue what's going on. Why does this guy want her, like, kidnapped? Oh, she's still... What is it? Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's, it, it's nothing. <laughs> I love how this guy carries this chick all over the place like all piggyback. <laughs> Anybody who would wear a shirt and a tie like that, something's wrong with them. They're, they're suspect. I want to get rid of his belongings. Our key card should be around here. Uh-oh. That didn't work out as planned. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're all kinds of suspicious. You aren't usually this chatty. But what's the point in betraying me? Don't tell me you're in love! You silly bastard! <laughs> so it was you? Hmm? You knew this whole time? What I'd been hiding from the rest of the department? Oh, yep, see, he told you, computer simulation. Huh? What? That's a cool effect. Yep, told ya. What is this? Oh, shit. Hey, stop it! Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Cannot guarantee safety at the testing level. That's fine. I just... The test range is the hotel. Is there any... Are any other problems? Contact the navigator.
this would tell. Who are you? Man, he busted the pis pixels out of her face. So am I dead? Alright, so, um... Bludgeoned by a metal bat metal. So, I guess... So is the whole game gonna be all glitchy and shit now? I don't know if there's more ladybugs or not. There's five of them. I'm back as usual. Test range is the hotel. I might finally be able to learn the secrets behind this weird hotel. That's right. I know what I have to check first. I'm sorry. Just hang on a little longer. So... What do I have to check first? The navigator? Isn't that the guy down? This hotel is normal. No shit. I can't see outside. I leave from the front door. Not to mention all the strange phenomena I've experienced. If I can discover its secrets, I'll know what's happening to me. Where should I go? And what should I do to find out what this place is hiding? Go to 501, go to 524, go to the warehouse, go to the front desk. It said go to the navigator. Isn't that what the guy at the front said? He said he's just a navigator? That's right, the front desk. I'm only the navigator. If there's any problems, contact the navigator. I might learn something from him. Hey, man. Is something the matter, sir? Can I ask you a question? If it's anything to do with this hotel, by all means. Do you really know everything about this place? Of course. I am the navigator. What's with this hotel? Is all of this real? It is not. We are in a virtual reality created by a device in its testing phase. Told ya. A virtual reality. Allow me to explain. Oh. There's no need for surprise. This is virtual reality after all. The device being used to create this world is called Come True. Using the computer device, it becomes possible to create a virtual world based on the subject's memories. Does that work if your subject isn't alive? It's most certainly possible. And by connecting the device to another brain, someone else can enter the virtual reality and re-experience the subject's memories. Ah, uh, I think I know what's going on here. You're the police officer. Simply put, you become the subject inside the virtual world. Yeah, you are, you're a cop, I bet, and you're within the game. We call this individual the operator. You're in the brain of the actual killer trying to find out something well, like where somebody is so you're saying that I'm please save your questions for later we don't have much time 
You may be able to re-experience memories, but this is still a virtual world. These aren't the memories themselves. This device compensates for conversations and spaces missing in the memories. That is why the operator can act differently. That means this world will branch off based on the choices of the operator. The virtual reality goes beyond the original memories. Come true with the intent of treating brain disorders was created with. While it's still in its testing phase, we're making a special exception due to a strong demand from the police. Told ya. From the police. However, an unexpected incident has occurred. Come True is currently being hacked. It's being hacked. Someone is attempting to delete the world from, a, from the outside. The effects are getting progressively worse. Under normal circumstances, the operator would retain their own memories. Your memories have been erased by the hacking. Oh, well, that sucks. It seems that you've forgotten your own identity. So that's the source of my amnesia. Why not just pull me out of the virtual reality? Or the simulation? Furthermore, the hacker is rewriting the program. They've added a new presence that's interfering with the investigation. The threat from the hacking is critical. At this rate, the virtual reality will be shut off with you still inside. You'll have no way of returning to the real world. I r recommend that you leave as soon as possible. But how am I supposed to get back? You already know what to do. You've already m made the choice so many times. Every time you did die, die, die. This is so many times. If you choose to choose to choose to choose to choose to in there, you could have always gone. Back to the outside world. However, you stayed behind to learn the truth about this world. But it's to stay here any longer. Dangerous. I'll repeat myself. I recommend you leave this place. Hey! I've got to leave here as soon as possible. But I can really end it here. Then what was the point of being in this world? Uh oh. That monster came and killed her ass while you were gone, I guess. Why does that girl have to get killed? Wait, she's the virtual Akane Sakamura. That must mean she also in the actual world. What is she doing out here? There. Can we meet if I leave this place?
Huh? Uh oh. Detective Sakamura has been found in the hotel. Detective Sakamura has been found dead. The cause of death was strangulation. Oh, she's dead. She was strangled from behind with a rope like object. The culprit was shot to death by another investigator. She was the last victim. The killer ever claimed. I'll be there right away. Please let me use the device. <laughs> See, you're a cop, you're trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out what she was doing there. That's right. That's what happened. I'll find out what happened to you. I'm sorry it's taken me this long. So you really were that special person. But you're gone now? Did I come here because I couldn't accept her death? So I could see her one more time? Whatever I do here, you're not coming back. This is virtual reality, not the actual world. Yeah, I'm really big into VR, but this is some good-looking VR. Is there really a point in staying here any longer? I might not be able to get back. I think you're there to figure out why she got killed. You're already gone. And I can't even save you. What am I supposed to do? Maybe if you save her here, pull trigger. Don't pull trigger. Fuck that shit. We're going hard. We ain't pulling the trigger. We're going to let that monster come and kill us. Even if I go back to the real world, I won't have you. You're already gone. It doesn't matter anymore. Nothing matters. Oh. Wait, don't be so hasty. Huh? Who are you? The fuck just happened? This shit's getting really fucking weird, man. I mean, it's been really fucking weird. Okay. What? We're still in the virtual world, I bet. I'm a doctor. You're a doctor, actually. You're my doctor? You need to know. You're suffering from a certain type of delusion. It's a particularly complex case. All of these events that occurred are figments of your imagination. My imagination? That's right. You are currently receiving treatment. However, your symptoms are still severe. You're experiencing extreme hallucinations. Hallucinations. Acid. 
What am I hallucinating? Almost everything that you've seen and heard. For instance, this idea of virtual reality is just another hallucination. Not only that, you're imagining that you're a serial killer. <laughs> There's no such person as Aken Sakamura. <laughs> You're failing the, to differentiate between reality and fantasy. Your confusion is causing heavy trauma to your brain. You were about to take your own life. So what this is? You've accepted the truth. It makes sense. There's no way all that crazy stuff could be real. You shouldn't worry. You'll eventually be cured through our treatment. Let's get you through this. So that girl was never here in the first place. If that's true... Then I am crazy. How much time has passed since then? How long do I have to stay here? I haven't talked to anyone for days. How long will the treatment continue? Uh oh, when will my doctor come back? How long have I been here? Why am I here? Who... Who am I? Swallowed by bugs in a hospital metal. What the fuck? What is going on? I'm kind of confused now. Do I want to end it? End it now? I'll continue. I'm going to continue. Oh. Okay. Fuck it. Let's pull the trigger this time. That'll do it. <laughs> Suicide metal. Well, um... They're like popping all over the place. It's getting real glitchy. Okay, so shooting ourselves doesn't really do anything. I guess we could leave by hitting end, but I feel like there's more that we can do. There's more bugs. There's six of them now. I can't let this end here. Well, since you Kane was killed in this hotel, Makado Kariaki killed her. Is that the real truth? I came here to find out for sure. Maybe I can't save you anymore. But I still want to. And I need to know the truth. I'll do whatever it takes to find the truth. I do like how, even though it's like you're replaying the same parts over and over, they're different every time. I need to trace my actions one more time! 
I'll find the path that gets me to the truth. Let's get out of here. I guess that's the path that gets me to the truth. Leave room before officer arrives. <laughs> or hide in the closet. <laughs> Can I hide with her in the closet? I think I hid in the closet last time. Let's hide in the closet. The wrong choice. Fight back. You're like. You know it's a simulation now. Do like some Neo shit or something. Okay. Swallowed by bugs, too. Oh, okay, cool. It doesn't make me go through all that again. It takes takes me my last choice. All right, so I guess we're gonna leave the room before the officer arrives. He didn't. Why didn't he take? Oh, I guess if he's seen carrying some chick down the hallway, they, that'd be suspect, huh? Is something the matter, sir? Can I ask you a question? I'll repeat myself. I re recommend you leave this place. As soon as... Oh, hey! What the hell? Swallowed by bugs one... It's like bouncing all over the place. This doesn't make any sense, but... Is there another choice? Oh, what's that? Search for cell phone. Oh, I thought I already had my cell phone. Come back in. Let's get out of here. Let's find this. It'll kill us both. He's got a fucking chainsaw. Bitch, run, run, bitch, run. Hurry up. I guess we gotta go to the warehouse. What are we doing? Over here. Hey, wait. So I guess the warehouse was the right decision all along. Didn't they give us an option of where to go? I can't remember. Please, you have to believe me. I'm not trying to get away. How am I supposed to believe you? There's something who's important to me. Someone who's important to me. What? I lost my memories. But I still remembered her. It must have been her who helped me get my memories back. Because I cared about her. She helped me remember what was important. I'm trying to find the truth for her sake. I want to look for it with her. 
Can't you lend me a hand? Please, Tanabo. Tanabo. Talking to you reminds me of someone else. You aren't anything alike, and yet. All right, I understand. I don't think that you're lying. Why else would Mikado Garaki save me? Let's get naked. Tends to fix things. So what's the plan now? Do you have any thoughts? Oh, I got lots of thoughts. If we got time to kill, you know. Keep hiding. Show cell phone. Okay, last time I did, I did the show cell phone. Let's do keep, keep hiding. I feel like this is the wrong decision, though. I think I was supposed to show her the phone. Someone's here! The creature! No, it's gonna be that Kuji guy. Or. Somebody. Uh, there are two of you. We haven't met before. Are you new? Yeah. Hey, isn't that the guy? A little weird? Something around his nose. It's the guy on TV. Minokin! It's Minokin, isn't it? Oh, you, the anchor man. <coughs> I couldn't tell since you seem so different. That's not me. It's not me anyway. Let's hurry up and already... Huh? You know what I'm talking about. Which one of you has it? Has what? I came here for the thing. Here, let's... Transaction. Transaction? What are you talking about? Come on, stop messing around. Is this about drugs? So that white powder on your nose. Wait a sec. Who's this, this lady? What's she being so rude? I'm a detective, you know. This is really fast. Subtitles. What? Detective? I'm a detective. By detective, you mean... You're with the police? That's right. Even though you're the police, you're with the police in this place? Please. <laughs> That's enough from you. What am I dead? Did that kill me? Last night, news anchor Kincho Mino on suspicion of murder and violating the narcotics control law. Arrested. The suspect Kincho Mino is well known as a variety TV host. Visited a hotel last night and a suspected attempted murder of a guest. Mino was captured by a police officer who happened to be at the scene. The victim was taken unconscious to hospital, where they later pronounced it dead. According to police reports, Mino was attempting a drug deal. That killed me? When he was distributed by the victim... In response to police questioning, Mino was denied the charges. However, as hotel CCTV footage shows, Mino was broken in several times and is suspected of drug dealing on a number of occasions at the hotel. The police intend to investigate, investigate further. How did that kill me? He hit me with a fucking laundry basket. Really? The laundry basket killed me? I like that it doesn't take it all the way back to the beginning in some parts. There's only those two options, right? Okay, let's show the cell phone. That's right. What is this? Let's find out. So whoever sent this message should come to my room at 8. It's decided then. Should we go, sir? Uh, sure, let's do it. 
I know I'm supposed to go back to the room. And around. Let's try and stay out of sight. I finally know what I need to do. Whatever happens, I want you to laugh one more time. Whatever happens. Oop, read it already. I want to see you smile. And what was your room number again? Ooh, we can pick another. Hold on. There's somewhere we should drop by first. Oh yeah, her room again. Where's that? Your room. And bang. And then get a gun. But I've got a gun. I'm gonna show you. Let's go get her gun from 524. Let's go to your room. Why? You must have a weapon. We're confronting someone who wants to kill you. And if you don't have one, I have one. You're right. It's room 524. Let's go. Makoto Karayaki's crimes are always sudden and impulsive, right? That's true. The murders took place in deserted locations. The victims were strangled from behind. They always tried to fight back against the killer or the rope. They always tried to... But they were all killed in the end. That's why they're victims. This is pretty strange. Talking to the killer himself about his crimes? Maybe so. But it's helped me realize something. Let's go. We're here. Dun dun dun. Come this way. I know what to do. You should hide in here. Try to argue with whatever they say. We want to learn whatever we can, right? We're almost at the end. Yeah, got big dick confidence. Fuck yeah. Hey, that's a shame. I was planning on surprising you. But you noticed me. I guess legendary serial killer. Mikado Karasaki. Karaoke. Karakuki. Karanadugi. Let's get to it then. Time to do what you promised. <clears throat> Ask for more information. Don't speak. We'll see if I ask. This is the wrong answer, but I'm going to ask anyway because maybe that'll give us a better ending. I know because he said he said earlier, you, you're too chatty. I'm going to ask anyway. So maybe we'll get something from it. What's the reason for all of this? Can't you tell me that much? So here's the reason. I wanted to have a change of heart. A change of heart? The rest won't make much sense to you. Where is she? Yeah, he's gonna get me. Because I asked too many questions. Her key card should be around here. Oh. 
You'd think I wouldn't know. You aren't usually this chatty. I assume it'll take us right back to the, uh... That one part where I made the decision. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't speak. You're all kinds of suspicious. You aren't usually this chatty. You're just as quiet as usual. Haven't you heard of communicating? Those socks though, dude. Oh well. Where is she? Bring Sonya Blade to me. Kano wants Sonya Blade. Did you put her to sleep? Hi. Bring her here. What are they going to do, like run a train on her? I mean... This is getting kind of fucking weird, man. I want to get rid of her belongings. Her keycard should be around here. Cha! <laughs> Don't move. Move and I'll shoot. Sakamura. What are you doing? You've been duped. You're pointing the gun in the wrong direction. You can drop the act. I figured everything out. You're the one who sent me this message. That's why you showed up right on time. You hired Mikado Kariaki to kidnap and kill Akan Sakamura! As a quid quo pro, of course. Cash reward, escaping overseas, getting a new target. Interfere, what were the terms of exchange with Mikado Kariaki? Drugs, getting a new target, escaping overseas. I think it's escaping overseas. But I'm gonna go with, yeah, I'll go with it. Fuck it. Escaping overseas. You were helping me escape overseas. I've already prepared your fake ID. You asked Mikado Karaoke to kill Lakan Sakamura. In exchange for helping him escape abroad. That's ridiculous. Sakamura. So no, shut up and listen. But the truth is, there was no quid quo pro, quid pro quo. You were planning on killing Mikado Kariaki afterwards. Isn't that right? Why are you talking about yourself in third person? And Mikado Kariaki caught on to your plans. That's why Akan Sakamura wasn't killed like all the others. She said that Mikado Kariaki was always sudden and impulsive. But Sakamura's death was different. Place of murder, time of murder, the victim's gender, the marks on her neck. What shows the Sakamura's murder was planned? Time, maybe? Ooh, time. The time of the murder. Yeah. No, that's not right. 
もっと考えろ。Think harder! It's not her gender. The marks on her neck are. It must be the place. No one won't. No, so I got that's not right. They caught her. It has to be the mark, I guess. Could be a similar to the marks around her neck. Dun dun dun. Makoto Karaki always strangles his victims from behind with a rope like object. Stop talking like you aren't the killer. The victims always fight back against the rope around their necks. But they were still strangled to death. If they fought back, you would see the signs. But the marks on Aken Sakamura's neck were different. There were no signs of a struggle. Either she was killed in her sleep, or she was tied up at the time. She had no way of fighting back. Wait a second. You're acting like Sakamura's already did. Makado Karaki knew you'd betray him. He left an obvious contradiction as a clue. Shut up already! What the hell are you talking about? Explaining everything like you weren't the one who killed Sakamura. You're the one who killed her! Sakamura! How long are we gonna listen to this freak? He's not making any sense! You're right. That he's making no sense. He's acting like I'm already dead. But it's like that man is here. He's just like him. Did you try to kill me? Obviously not! Is it because I was investigating you? And the terrible clothes you wear? You were? I had intel you were taking money from a criminal enterprise. But it was just a rumor. And you were my colleague. That's why I was looking by myself. None of that's true. You bitch. I found a copy of an under the table account. It's absolute proof you were taking the cash. I was planning on altering the higher ups, alerting the higher ups after this was over. I wanted to believe I was wrong. What a shame. What is that copy? I have it hidden. In a place he'll never find. A place important to me. Hi. So there's your motive. You knew that the copy had to be stolen. That's why you tried to kill Aken Sakamura. <laughs> and what do you think I was doing with it? Huh? I was buying information. To track down violent criminals, of course. That's how I knew Makado Kariaki was hiding in this hotel. You dumb bitch. I need funds to buy that information. How many criminals do you think we've managed to track down with that information? How many innocents have been able to save? That's against the law. 
the law. Special Investigations Unit has gotten too soft. Crime has evolved. We need to evolve with it. That means changing how our organization works. It's up to me to produce results. So you're willing to sacrifice your colleagues along the way? What? No, no. I'm not trying to kill Sakamura. I wanted to work with me. This is a sales pitch. A sales pitch? That's why you had to kidnap her. Wrong voice. Sakamura. This is about justice. Now this is don't move. It's all good. You're someone who can make the right choice in the name of justice. I said don't move. <clears throat> Shoot me if you want to. But I'll need you to take up my case, cause instead. <clears throat> Dun dun dun. Keep waiting. Interrupt. I think if we keep waiting, she's going to shoot us. But I'm going to interrupt because I think that she could shoot us in one of these. So you killed a cane and Mikado Karyaki because she refused. Huh? Get out of the way, freak. I won't let you kill her again. Not anymore! Kuji. You made a terrible mistake. This will only get worse. You have to be stopped right now! Is that right? You believe an evil serial killer before me? Is it because of my fashion sense? He's gonna turn into that monster thing. <laughs> Damn! Fucking Billy the Kid there just like disarmed him. The fucking gunshot. So he told you. What's happening? This is bad. Let's go. Kano's turning into Cabal. Through the door. Through the window. I don't think we can go through the window. Can we? Let's try the window. It's probably gonna kill us. Put a little rewinder right there. Over here. Oh shit, that's not gonna work. Well, I mean, that really only leaves one choice, right? Through the door. I go through the ceiling. Look at that wolf. <laughs> Who has that in their fucking hotel room? Okay, yeah, through the door is the only option. Hmm. Well, this is no good. Why does she just shoot that guy? Damn it! It's Kuji! You're the one hacking the device! Get out of the way! Nope, that's not working. Stop! It all makes sense now! 
Even if you kill us here, if I leave the simulation, I'll be able to track you down. What is he like sending into them? Oh, he's erasing the memory. I remember everything. I was a rookie when I joined the Special Investigations Unit. That's where I met Akane Sakamura. Hi. We began to spend more time together outside of work. I remember the first day we met in private. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. After a few dates, we became a couple. But our happiness didn't last very long. I couldn't accept that she was dead. Please let me use the device. I placed all my hope in the device. Praying it would help me. Find the truth behind her death. That's a big fucking VR helmet. Or... Headset. It's really you. Can you tell? I get it now. I know what this world is. And what you're doing here. I'm sorry. It's my fault. No, okay. It wasn't your fault. What a touching reunion. Let me tell you something good. This virtual reality wasn't created from Karyaki's memories alone. It's also made from Akane and Saramo because this world was created by both of your memories. This thing made from her own memories. That's why she knew about under the table accounts. That was too fast. How do you feel being reunited with her? You must be happy. So happy the truth of the case shouldn't matter. What are you talking about? But the sad thing that is, she's still dead in the real world. Your precious Akane Sakamura is gone forever. That's because of you. Then why don't you stay behind in this world? Huh? What are you saying? You lovebirds should stay right here in this world. That what you used her memories. Why you used her memories? Thanks to my hacking, I can Sakamura sees you as yourself, not Mikado Karaoke. I can make this world bigger and better, more comfortable for the two of you. You can live here with the one you love. No! You can't do that. There's not much time left. 
You'll have to choose now. The hacking has ruined come true. It'll take some time for the product to reach the market. Akane Sakamura and Makara Kariaki will be deleted from the service. If you leave this place, you'll never see Akane Sakamura again. You might want revenge on me. Or would you leave her behind for revenge? Don't you want to save her? Don't you want to... For, oh, see her smile again? That too. Once this timer reaches zero, the virtual reality will separate itself from the outside world. You only have one chance. No do-overs. So which one will you choose? A miserable reality or a happy fantasy? Dun dun dun. The next choice will reset progress. Only one ending can be chosen. Oh, great. Stay in the virtual world, stay in the real world. Oh, shit! I guess... I'll do it all for love. I feel like the... How long are we really going to have? Because they're going to delete the whole thing and... <clears throat> so you've accepted my deal? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Congratulations. You've made it to your happy ending. No hand job needed. <laughs> I'll just leave the two of us alone. Of course. Once I leave here, I'll never bother you again. You'll have your happy ever after. But I'll give you, out of the kindness of my heart, I'll give you some advice. You shouldn't leave this hotel. Why is that? Come true only controls the air inside this hotel. What is it like outside? Who knows? Nobody can answer that. Maybe there's a virtual world connected to Sakamura's memories. But I still wouldn't go out if I were you. This world will soon be shut off from the real world. This is your final paradise. Anyway, see you around. Well, I don't know, that's kind of like happy yet depressing at the same time. Thank you. The truth is, I was happy that you chose to stay. I'm still dead. Well, he is too now. So, don't worry. I got you involved in this mess. I chose to stay here of my own free will. And anyway, you're here with me. But this world's like a prison. Then let's leave. Let's see the world outside.
It's gonna like fade to white or black or something like that and be over. We're not gonna see what's out there. It'll be left ambiguous. Yeah. Ready? I'm Ready opening go. the door. I believe in you. You gotta believe. Yeah, hold my hand so if this, like, erases us from existence, we're together. We're leaving this place. Do as you wish, sir. I thought you might say that. It's what you've chosen. Wait, there's more. I guess there was another world out there. So what happens when they pull her off of this device? Is she just going to disappear and he's going to be like in a void? Or when they pull him off? How's this whole thing work? Think there's like a, a post credit scene? A stinger? Let's see. Oh, something's happening. There is one. Death come true. Story progress data has been initialized. Death metal and death t death tube information has been retained. Extra. What's what do we got? Extras? Death metals. Oh, is this like collectibles? Shot by the police. Stabbed by a katana. Look at us. Neck snapped. <laughs> Head hit upon impact with Minicon. Bludgeoned by a metal bat. Suicide. Swallowed by bugs in hospital room. Swallowed by bugs one. Swallowed by bugs two. Swallowed by Bugs 4. Minikin News 1 through 5 has been unlocked. Death Tube. F video footage 1 through 6 has been unlocked. Death Tube. Off Shots 1 through 3 has been unlocked. What? What does that mean? Oh, I can just look at him? Oh, look, I got a medal. Yeah! Okay, is that all there is? Oh. Death tube, what's that? Oh, is this just like the videos? <laughs> it does look kind of like YouTube.
Oh, it's like behind the scenes stuff, I guess. Offshoots. Video footage. Did I get all of them? I guess it's showing like the, the making of. I wonder what offshoots. What's the difference between offshoots and video footage? Oh man, I hate games when they do this. Now I want to go back and get all this stuff. Like, what are these? Off scenes making movie. <laughs> I like that translation. I doubt this is going to be subtitled. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Dealing <laughs> right. <laughs> this is just some behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> These are like bloopers, but they're not very like cut together very well. This is like a full-on fucking production, man. This th this game did look good. Huh. Huh, okay. Well, I'm not going to watch all those. Well... That was Death Come True. Pretty cool game. But yeah, that was a pretty cool game, guys. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. Uh, some of the subtitles were a little bit fast, but beyond that, that was pretty cool. Um, I'd play, I wonder if they're going to have like a second one or something. I don't know. I don't know if it really set itself up for a second one at all, but... Yeah. Anyway, uh, appreciate it. And yeah, I'm Scatterbrain. That's all I got. See you guys next week. Peace, love, chicken grease.